Rosalie Gascoigne was 78 when she undertook Suddenly the Lake, a work that refers to Lake George on the outskirts of Canberra. She played a significant role in redefining the Australian landscape through her inventive application of found materials to create a poetic vision of place. The strength of her art emerges from her precise powers of observation and her capacity to distill deeply felt experiences of natural phenomena. The course of Gascoigne's artistic life is an inspiration for those who are only able to devote themselves to their chosen calling late in life. She first exhibited her art in 1974, when she was in her 50s. Less than a decade later, the distinctive strength of her art was recognised nationally and internationally, and in 1982, she was selected, with Peter Booth, to represent Australia at the Venice Biennale. For three decades of her adult life, Gascoigne had been a wife and mother. Yet she had been absorbing the environment in which she lived for years, closely observing and experiencing the landscape of the Canberra region, the fauna and flora, the searing heat of summer and frosts of winter. She liked working with her hands, gardening and making things, and became an adventurous exponent of Ikebana. By the time Gascoigne arrived at her distinctive approach to making art from found materials, she had a huge wellspring of experience to draw upon. In its clarity of purpose and construction, suddenly the lake conveys a depth of awareness honed and shaped over time, like the materials themselves. While the parallel hills were inspired by Lake George, they also recall the work of Colin McCann, an artist Gascoigne much admired from her country of birth, New Zealand. Yet in contrast to the darker intensity that characterises much of McCann's art, Gascoigne brings a down-to-earth sensibility to her choices of materials, as well as a distinctive lyrical sensibility. A poetic distillation of land, water, sky and air. <laughs> 